Hi guys, welcome to another Some Guys Productions, and yes, I've just got myself a some Logitech Z5500 speakers, uh, 5.1 channel. Uh, I'm not actually going to really do an unboxing, I'm just going to take them out, but this is actually going to be an instructional video on actually how to set up a 5.1 channel uh, via uh, optical cable to your, well, to any Mac. Um, pretty much it's going to uh, go step by step through the connection and the software. So let's open this up. Okay, let's take her out. Okay, finally got it out of the box. Um, so it's a box inside of a box. So these are the Z5500s. Um, Put it down like this. Alright. Let's open up. Got the instructions and big stuff so far. Looks like these are the speakers in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm not gonna unbox it, but yeah, you get the idea. Alright guys, yeah, I've now taken away my uh, my old um, Creative Inspire T7900 7.1 surround sound speakers. Uh, so they're sitting here right now, as you can see. Now let me just show you what I've just set up now for the uh, Z5500s. There's the subwoofer, as you can see, of this uh, Z7... Uh, T7900 creative speakers and let's show you what the Z5500 Alright, here's the Z5500 Logitech 5.1 surround sound digital speakers Alright, so I've got it set up here as you can see uh, Alright, so yeah, it's less speakers obviously, it's 5.1 So the 7.1 that it was, but it's digital speakers, I guess that's a uh, Oh, good thing. All right. Now, in order to set this up, it's actually incredibly simple. Uh, for a Mac, you need to have it set to optical. I'm sure you have that. Next thing you need to do is have one of these cables, an optical cable. Now, a straight optical cable. Now. This thing on the here if I can get it off Ah oh, there we go. Alright. This thing here is what we call a three point five millimeter jack. It sits right on the other end of the optical cable. You can get cables that are integrated with this, but um I feel as you can get better quality um, optical cables and then just buy yourself one of these jacks you know they're probably way cheaper than going and buying a specialized cable that is optical to 3.5 millimeter jacks so anyway this is a genuine high quality optical cable uh, you can get it from any hi-fi store and you just need the 3.5 mil jack so you can stick into the in this case I'm doing it on a MacBook Pro uh, so let me just show you how it's done so we stick this on here you can see uh, just get this right 
and it just goes on like that. Next thing it goes directly onto the earphone slot. Just like that. As you can see, the other end obviously goes into the uh, what I think is called a mini amp um, into the back of the optical port on this thing okay you can see the back here straight into the optical cable there yeah um, there is coaxial um, but I'm not sure if you can do it without a coaxial cable yeah I'm not sure if you can do it with a coaxial cable but yeah it's all good um, alright so let's turn on the Mac and we'll show you what else you need to do in this particular machine. I'll also show you what you need to do on the Windows side of things as well as the Mac OS side of things. Okay. Oh, that's my iPhone. Um, okay, we're just loading up now. Um, Alright. So. Uh, yeah, it's the iPhone coming up. Just closing that. Let's close all this crap down. Okay, all right, uh, all right. So all you're going to need to do, <coughs> so I'll show you this sec in screen flow, which is on sec. Um, one thing I wanted to show you uh, before I show you any additional settings. Okay, guys. Um, basically, all you really need to do um, in this case for the uh, Logitech speakers is. Um, we don't really need to do this in Mac OS um, because you're just relying directly off the digital out um, and the amp or the mini amp on the Logitech Z5500 actually takes care of majority of the, 50, uh, the 5 points around sound, games and whatever but I'll just show you something in here if I go into um, from what I originally thought you could actually do uh, but being a Mac Pro and I think you're going to do this on Mac Pros and not MacBook Pros and um, also iMacs, you can't do those. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, if that makes any sense. If you go into uh, Utilities, let's bring that up, alright, and if we go into uh, Audio MIDI, Audio MIDI Setup, you'll see you got um, built-in output that you can actually config but if you go into config speakers you'll see multi-channel is there but you can't actually select any of these things here um, but still you get <coughs> you do actually get 5.1 surround sound regardless of these settings in here uh, so you really don't have to do much at all uh, on the Mac OS 10 side of things uh, even on Windows you don't really have to do much on that side of things because it's uh, pretty much just uh, based on the amp so you can plug it into any amp and get the same result um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, alright I'll just show you a few other settings that you can do okay as you can see we've got optical set up here on the Mac so we've just got um, 21st Century Breakdown from the new Green Day Now album a song going on there uh, I'm just going to use the remote the volume up the best setting to have it on uh, for Mac is definitely to have it on the PL2 movie that gives you full surround sound in games, movies uh, and anything else or even songs so yeah, that's pretty much how you set it up on a Mac. Cheers.